Hey, one out there, I want to do a teaching. I did a teaching a few days ago on YouTube, or did a video in a few days, and they have got so much feedback. That video has been seen by many, many thousands of people, and I've got so much feedback from people all over the world. And have you not seen the video? I recommend to go in and see the video. I will send a link together with this video. But that other video I did have just shown a bigger problem, have just revealed a big, big problem we have in the church today. I've talked with so many people in the last days because of the other videos, and I'm shocked. I'm shocked of the sin that is happening in the church today. I'm shocked of the understanding people have when it comes to what a believer is, what a true disciple is. I'm shocked of the mentality. And I want to share something with you here. I want to share a very important word. Because the Bible is very clear. There is a broad road that lead to destruction and there is a narrow road that lead to eternal life and many people will walk the broad road and more only a few people will walk the narrow road and find eternal life we think that the broad road are those people who don't go to church and the narrow road is us who are in church but I want to say inside the church, there is a broad road that lead to destruction. And most people, and I've used that word very careful. I thought about that and I want to, that is not me who used the word wrong. I believe that most people inside the church are walking on the broad road that lead to destruction and there's only a few inside the church who's truly walking on the narrow road that lead to eternal life and this video i really hope that you give me the time to hear my words here hear the teaching here because i don't want it to be my words i want it to be what jesus is saying and 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 then see if what i'm saying is not correct Listen to this, and I'll try to do it short, but really give me the time to listen to what I have to say. Because if what I'm saying is the truth, that inside the church, most people are walking on the broad road that leads to destruction, and only a few are walking on narrow road, then we have a big, big problem. So, so try to listen to what I want to say here. We start with Jesus and we start with what he say, where he say in Matthew 7. He said, enter by the narrow gate. This is what we need to do. We need to enter by the narrow gate. We need to walk on the narrow road. And then he continued. For the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. So there is a broad road and a broad gate. A easy road that lead to destruction and many go that way. And then he continued, for the gate is narrow and the way is hard that lead to life. Or I can say eternal life. And those who find it are few. So Jesus is talking about that. He's talking about that two ways, two roads. One broad that lead to destruction and one narrow that lead to eternal life. But then he continued, be aware of false prophets. And there I want to add, be aware of false believers. Be aware of false Christians. Be aware of false pastors. Be aware of false teachers. Be aware of false disciples. Be aware of, because it's not only the prophets, he's talking about that in the end time, there is a big deception happening, and there is people who will lead people astray, and there is people who are false, and then he continue how to recognize who is right and who is not. You will recognize them by their fruit. So you will recognize them by their fruit, not by their confession. Not if they go to church. Not if they believe in God. Not if they read the Bible. Not if they are teaching the word. You can recognize those people who are on a broad road, those who are false, by their fruit. 
And then he continues. Every good tree bear good fruit. And every bad tree bear bad fruit. It's so simple. A good tree cannot, and I want to come back to this. A good tree cannot bear bad eller a good tree cannot bear bad fruit. And a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree who do not bear good fruit, he cut it down and throw them into fire. You can recognize them by their fruit. And then he continues what I said in my last video. Not everyone who said, Lord, Lord, would enter into the kingdom of God. If you have prophesied and healed the sick and cast out demons and gone on the street, that is not a proof that you are going to enter into the kingdom of God. You can recognize a person, not by their works, not by what they confess, not by how they go to church, but you can recognize a person if they are good or if they are false or not by their fruit. And then he continues where he said a good tree cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. A born again person who truly have the spirit of God inside of him cannot continue in sin. A sinner cannot live a righteous life. You can recognize them by the fruit and nothing else. And I want to continue with that because this is exactly what John is saying in First John. He said this, Little children, let no one deceive you. And I'm reading for verse 7, First uh, John 3, 7. Little children, let no one deceive you. I want to say that, please. My friends out there, let no one deceive you. I, I, I met so many people who are staying in sexual sin and what happened? They go and ask for counseling from other people. Or they're standing in a, a, a divorce and remarriage and they go and ask counseling. Do you know what? You can get everyone to give you that. You can always find people who cheer you up. You can always find people who give you the answer you want to hear. I've, I've seen it again and again. I had people who stood in a, a remarriage where it was just off. It was really, really off. And I addressed it. What happened? Yeah, but I talked with that pastor and I talked with that guy and I talked with that friend and they say it's good. Little children, let no one deceive you. I want to say that let no one deceive you. Be careful who you listen to. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he's righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. This is the reason the Son of God, Jesus, hallelujah, disappeared. He appeared to destroy the work of the devil. No one born of God make a practice of sinning. For God's seeds abide in him. And he, and there the words come, word come again, cannot. He cannot keep on sinning. No one who are truly born by God cannot cannot keep on sinning. Why? A good tree cannot bear bad fruit. A bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Those who are truly born again cannot keep on sinning, or cannot have a lifestyle of sin because he's born by God. And then he continue, by this is the evidence who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. By this is the evidence 
Who is the children of God and who is the children of Satan? By this, not by your confession of faith, not by you attending church, not by you praying, Not by you going on the street and sharing about Jesus. Not by you casting out demons and healing the sick. By this, you know who are truly born again. By this, you know who are the false one. You can you can know a tree by the fruit and nothing else. Let No man deceive you. There is two roads. One broad that lead to destruction and one narrow that lead to eternal life. The broad road is the road of sinning. The narrow road is the road of holiness, sanctification. That is the one that leads to eternal life. I want to show you here. Listen here. If we go to Roman 6, I will read here. Do you not know that if you, and he's talking to the Christians here, present yourself to anyone as obedient slave, you are slave of them. You are slave of the one you obey. Either it is sin that leads to death or is obedience that leads to righteousness. So there's two roads here. There is a road that leads to something and another road that leads to something else. The road that leads to destruction is the road of sin. The road that leads to righteousness. Or eternal life, sorry, is the road of obedience, of righteousness. And then he continued. But thanks to be God that you, who was once slave of sins, have become obedience from your heart to the standards of the teaching which we have been given. You have been set free from sin and have now become a slave to righteousness. You have become a slave to righteousness. And he continues that we are now slave to righteousness that leads to sanctification or lead to holiness. And then he continues, but now you have been set free from sin and have become a slave of God. The fruit you get lead to sanctification and the end of that is eternal life listen here you can know a person by their life not by their confession not by them going to the church not by them reading the bible not by them going on the street and healing the sick all of that little children my friends out there don't be deceived you can know a tree by the fruit you can know a person by the fruit a good tree cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit If those who are truly born again cannot have a sinful lifestyle, they cannot keep on sinning. Why? Because before they were slave to sin, now they are slave to righteousness. When you were slave to sin, you could not bear good fruit. Why? Because you were a slave to sin. Now when you are slave to righteousness, you cannot bear ba bad fruit. Why? Because you are slave to righteousness. The seed of God is inside of you. And that seed, the road of righteousness, is a road that leads to holiness. And a fruit of holiness or sanctification is eternal life. Guys, it's not what you believe. It's not about having the right confession. It's not about having faith in God and coming to church. You need to be truly born again. You are slave of sin that leads to death or you are slave of righteousness that produce sanctification, holiness, 
that leads to eternal life. You can know a tree by the fruit. And I want to make this video because we are so often talking about, we are so often judging people out of their confession. Yeah, but he's a Christian. Why? He's going to heaven. Why? B because he go to church. Is that a fruit the Bible talk about? But but he go out on the street and heal the sick and, and he, he pray for people and people get healed and he even cast out demons. I just want to say that is not the evidence we are looking for. What we are looking for is holiness. Is is when a person are truly born again. Truly born again. The seed of God is inside of him. And that person cannot go on sinning. He cannot go on sinning because he's born by God. And that leads to holiness, sanctification. And a fruit of that is the eternal life. Jesus came not to save us in our sins. He came to save us from our sins. He came to create a new man, a new woman, a new creation who walk in holiness who love him, who fear God, who obey the word. And I want to do this video because I met so many people, especially in America, the last year here, who have a confession, but they're not born again. They go to church, but they're not born again. They read the Bible and they pray to God, but they're not truly born again. They go out on the street and even heal the sick. But they're not truly born again. Why? You can know a tree by the fruit. They do all of that having a sinful lifestyle. They do all of that where they look good outside. It's like when, when the Pharisees, the religious people came to John the Baptist in, in Matthew 3. He rebuked them big times. But they said, yeah, but, but we have... And he said, bear the fruit worthy of repentance. But their response was, yeah, but we have Abraham as father. Today we have... I would say to people out there, bear the fruit worthy of repentance. Yeah, but I'm going out on the street. Bear the fruit worthy of repentance. Yeah, but I'm coming to church. I'm praying to God. Can you see it? If you look at, if you can know a tree by the fruit, not by the confession, not by the confession of faith, not by, by everything else. If you can know a tree by the fruit and you then go to church and you see how people are living, we have as many divorce, remarriage inside church than we have outside church. We have as many looking upon inside church than outside church. We have as many problems with smoking and alcohol often inside church than outside church. Why? Because inside church we have a broad road that leads to destruction. And there is only a narrow road that leads to eternal life. And what is that? That is the road of obedience. That is the road of sanctification. Of holiness that is that road that lead to the eternal life and there's few who find it why because they listen more to man than to God and they don't let the Holy Spirit work in them I want to end up I know it's a long video I want to say you can know a tree by the fruit if you are bearing bad fruit in your life it's not only about pulling yourself up and being strong and now oh, to produce good fruit. No, the reason you're bearing bad fruit is because you're not born again. The reason you bear bad fruit is because you need repentance, true repentance. The reason you bear bad fruit is because you need to bury the old life in the baptism water. The reason you bear bad fruit is because you have not yet received the Holy Spirit that is teaching you to obey Christ and give you the strength and make you holy as God is holy. The reason you are bearing bad fruit is because you are not truly born again yet. So it's not about now you by your own strength 
try to produce good fruit. No, come to God, come to Jesus, be born again. Experience the new birth, a new heart. What was away the old life in the baptism, bury the old life and receive the Holy Spirit and let the seed abide in you and then walk in obedience to the Spirit and not the flesh. And then you cannot bear bad fruit. And God who has done the good work in you will also continue and you will go into holiness, sanctification and a fruit of that is the eternal life. So see our video, I will share a video after this where I'm sharing the gospel. I will send a video to the, send a link to the other video I did a few days ago. And I know it's a little long video, sorry for that. But I just want you to take the Bible, read it for yourself. Read John, 1 John 3, read Romans 6 and understand that there is a broad road and that is the road of sin. And there is a narrow road, that is the road of holiness, sanctification righteousness and that is that road free from sin that lead to eternal life god bless you all out there bye bye hey i just want to add here in the end when i talk about holiness and sanctification i'm not i'm not talking about the jewish law then we that we need to keep the jewish law or we are not allowed to play card or drink coffee i'm going to give out another video in a few days where i'm going to address this and talk about that the law is now written on our heart the seed of god inside of us but that is in another video i'll give out in a few days please subscribe to our youtube channel here Follow the channel and then you get more videos when they come out. We need sound doctrine. We need to preach the truth. And I want to come out with more videos like that in the future. God bless you all out there. Bye bye.